Bob Griffin with Black Dragon Tools. Today we're going to talk about the MS5950 uh, Universal Motorcycle Scan Tool and the MS6050 Universal Motorcycle Scan Tool. Uh, the major advantage with these products over our competitors' products is the coverage. Uh, these are probably the most comprehensive scanners on the market. Uh, these units will actually work with up to 40 different manufacturers. Uh, these are all major manufacturers. Harley, Honda, Kawasaki, uh, and so on. Uh, these will actually handle most of the mo different modules on the bikes from ignition, uh, injection, alarm systems, ABS brake systems. Now what we're going to do is we're going to connect the unit to the bike. Uh, in this case here, uh, this is a 2006 Harley Davidson. So we're going to use the SL010480 cable. Uh, this is a four-pin cable uh, designed for the Harley-Davidson. There are actually right now 32 different uh, OEM cables or interface cables that are used uh, with the unit. Okay. So what we've done here is we've got the 480 cable connected to the master cable. Okay. The 480 cable plugs directly into the diagnostic port on the bike. Now, depending upon the type of vehicle uh, that you're working on, sometimes you may actually have to use a battery cable uh, that comes with the unit uh, to get power to the scanner. In this case here for the Harley-Davidson, uh, the power comes from the diagnostic port. So now we just plug in the master cable to the unit, turn on the ignition, and as you can see, we're getting power from the diagnostic port. And this will power the unit up. Just hit the enter key. Now this shows you all the various different manufacturers that are available uh, with this unit. In this case here, we're working on a Harley-Davidson, so we're just going to hit enter. Okay. And these are the various systems that we can test on a Harley-Davidson. So we can look at the injection, the immobilizer, the ABS system, the dashboard, body computer, the radio, the handlebar controls. And then we've got a DT DTC global search. What that is going to do is going to search all the modules on the bike. Uh, and then there's also a data logger where you can store data. So in this case here, for uh, ease of use and to determine if there are any errors at all on the bike, we're going to use the DTC global search. So we hit enter. Tells me to check and make sure that the anti-theft device uh, is disabled. Okay. Check that the ignition system is in the run position, which it is. Now what it's doing is it's checking the ignition system. Now it's checking the injection system. looking at the immobilizer or the alarm system, the ABS system, the dashboard, the body computer, the radio, handlebar controls, and it now lets me know in this case here there are actually two stored faults uh, that are stored in the memory of this bike. So if I want to see what those faults are, I can see, okay, it's got one fault in the immobilizer system and one in the dashboard system. Uh, these faults can just be something that was set uh, a long time ago and it's just there still in the memory. Okay. So in this case here we show that we have two stored fault codes uh, on this bike. Uh, from here, I can go back. It shows me, okay, there's a problem with the immobilizer system and the dashboard. Okay. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to the uh, immobilizer system. Select that. 
uh, I have a choice. I can either do a manual search or an automatic search. Uh, in this case here, we're just going to do an automatic search. Okay, it's connected to the bike, telling me what ECU it has and what type of immobilizer system it has on it. Okay. From here, I can look at the ECU data, the parameters, reading the stored fault codes, erasing the codes, uh, diagnostic procedures, and configuration. Okay. What I'm going to do here is I'm just going to erase the fault code and enter. And it tells me that the faults uh, have been deleted. If I want to go back and verify it, read the stored fault codes. And it tells me that there are no fault codes stored. Okay. And again, this works, as I mentioned, for all the various systems for the injection, uh, the immobilizer, the ignition system. ABS, uh, for the ABS system, on uh, the newer CAN bus bikes, uh, you actually need a scanner just to bleed the brakes to activate the pumps. Uh, this unit will actually uh, perform that procedure as well. Now it's disconnecting. And I'm just going to exit out of here. Uh, as far as other units or other uh, diagnostic systems that we have available. Uh, this is the uh, new 6050, the MS6050 unit. Okay? This unit has the same exact software uh, as the 5950, but in this case here, uh, we allow you to just activate the manufacturers that you need. So for instance, if you're a shop that's just working on Hondas, you would need 40 different manufacturers. You could just activate the Honda software uh, on the 6050. The software is identical to the 5950. Uh, 